Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a really important thing, and that is hard coding. So, in our Pi Game so far, we have a lot of what's called hard coding of things that really should be variables. So, for example, we have the game display, first of all. That's the first thing that we've hard coded. So, the dimensions of our window are hard coded into our game display. Shouldn't be doing that. Um, then we have lead X and Y. They're hard coded, 300, 300. Well, what if you know we decide to make the display 200 by 200? Well, too bad. <laughs> you know you can't do that. Um, so then coming down here, where else are we having trouble here? We've got uh, first of all all of this, like the 10. So remember, we're moving by 10 because that's the size of our block, right? That's the size of you know the thickness of our snake. What if one day we're like, well, I want the snake to be 13 pixels by 13 pixels. Well, good luck because you're going to have to edit uh, this, 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 and uh, this, and this. That's a lot of edits. You're probably going to forget one. And even if you didn't, that's a lot of edits. <laughs> and at the end of the day, if someone wants to resize their window, uh, if you want to scale everything with that resizing of the window, um, you're gonna now you've got to scale all of these things and so, so a bunch of variables instead of one variable. Then also, let's say you want to change the window size. Now you've got to come down here and change this and this for sure. But then also, really, changing of the window size affects this and this as well. Um, I'm trying to think what else. That pretty much covers all the variables we have right now. But as we go on down the road, we're only going to continue referencing the window size, especially when we go to start placing text and stuff like that and other things on the screen, like menus, all this kind of stuff. Um, that's going to be a problem. Um, obviously, the block size, we'll be referencing that as we create more and more of the snake. Um, where are we? All that stuff. We just can't be hard coding like we're doing. So that's what we're going to be fixing in this video is all of the nasty hard coding that we've done. Um, so first we're going to start with these two here, so width and height. Now we're going to call these uh, display underscore width, and we'll just say that's 800, and then display underscore height, and we'll say that is 600. Now we take display width, you paste that there, and take height, and you paste that there. Now, where do we want to start X and Y? Well, I just want to start basically in the middle of the screen, right? So the X start should be lead width divided by two. Whatever that happens to be, that's where we want to start it. Lead Y, display height divided by two. That's where we want to start it. Change, we'll just leave those. We also don't want to change anything major there. Then we come down here and we see all these tens, right? So now we want to have some sort of block size, right? So we're going to call this block size. That's not a good idea. And we're going to say block size equals 10. Easy enough. So we'll copy that, and basically everywhere we have 10, paste, 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 paste. Done. Oh, and then we also have those uh, down here for display width. So I'll copy display width. We come down here, paste, and then we want to make this display height. Display height. Whoops. Hold on. Uh, let me do control Z here. So lead X greater than or equal to display width and then lead Y greater than or equal to display height. Okay. And then again, this is block size. So we'll just uh, like right here, this pie game draw rect uh, block underscore size. And then we'll just copy that and paste that. And then finally we have clock tick. Uh, we might want to have a variable be able to update the frames per second for whatever reason. So we also just want to fill in FPS there. And then we'll go up to the very top here and we'll just say FPS equals 30. Okay, something like that. And that should be it. So now if we look at our script, we see that, yeah, I mean, there's still some obviously plain text numbers, but these are variable definitions. But here, Nothing, no more plain text. Zeros are okay because they're zeros and that's where we're starting them. Some more variable definitions. But then here, zeros again, they're okay. It's not a big deal if you have a bunch of zeros. 
Um, it's only like the numbers that really truly matter. Um, but you know, variables here, variables there, zeros again don't matter. But then the actual numbers that matter have variables to them, not you know hard coded numbers. So let's go ahead and save and run that. Make sure everything kind of acts the way we expected it to. Um, our square is the size that we intend, so that's nice. We can move it around, no problem. Let's go ahead and exit off the screen. That worked out. Let's try. That was a uh, Y problem. Let's try the X problem. No problem there either. So now we've got rid of a lot of the nasty hard coding in our script. So the reason why I didn't really want to start with these kinds of things like um, throwing in display width, display height, or display width divided by two, or all this kind of stuff. This is kind of confusing out of the gate. Um, Pygame can be kind of daunting for some people uh, initially, so it's nice to keep everything as basic as possible and, at the beginning. But now that you understand like what, you know, what is display width, display height, all that kind of stuff, it can actually be more clarifying to use variables, especially if like you're someone looking at this script. You can scroll down here. And instead of seeing lead x is greater than or equal to 800, you might be like, wait, what? What's that? You know, like why? Why are they using 800 than 600? Why is that? But instead, now it's much more clear. Like lead x is greater than or equal to display width. Oh, okay. So I see why why this is a problem. You know, it just makes a lot more sense to reading it. But anyway, um, that's it for this video. As always, uh, thanks for watching.